We're very pleased to have on the polls the country's Minister for Labour and Social Affairs, Usra von der Leyen from Berlin. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, you just presented this property and uh, this poverty and wealth report that claims the income gap in Germany has stopped widening. We still would be better off with a minimum wage, would we not? Well, actually, at the moment being, we have a very robust uh, labor market. Uh, we have the lowest youth unemployment rate in Europe, for example. But you're right, uh, the income dropped um, at the beginning of the decade. Uh, we had a lot of labor market reforms. The good thing is, over the last two to three years, the lowest incomes were rising um, in, in a proportion that was higher than the rest of the income. So I think we're on the right way. At the moment being, of course, we are discussing, for example, things like minimum wages. And um, looking at uh, Great Britain, for example, we've seen that you have a commission for minimum wages with employers and trade unions. That's something we think is very attractive. Yet this is not going to be part of the platform on which your party is going to fight the next general election. The SPD has made it very clear that it will. How much of an impediment do you think this will be from a sort of political point of view, looking at the election coming up in September? Well, of course, um, inequalities do play a role. But if you look at the things that people are interested in, it's uh, a matter of jobs. And uh, we have the highest employment rate since ever. Um, actually, we have one million vacant jobs, so uh, the German industry is looking for people to hire. We have the lowest unemployment rate uh, since reunification, and I think this is very convincing for people. Of course, you always have to look at the borders of the labor market. So the debate we have in our government at the moment being how to introduce uh, the right uh, minimum wage, that is to have employers and trade union negotiate about it and not have a political minimum wage, is for us an important uh, topic in the upcoming uh, com campaign we will have. Uh, but Minister, even if we have very few unemployed compared to other countries in the European Union, if people can't actually live off their jobs, we're hearing of anecdotal evidence of people actually having to go to discounted stores because they can't make ends meet and they're in full-time jobs, how, how, you have to have a minimum wage. Is this going to be what the election is solely going to be fought on? Well, we have the debate about the minimum wage. We also have a very interesting debate about the, the hours uh, that people work, specifically if you look at women in Germany. Uh, we have a tradition of part-time work in Germany, specifically with women. Uh, this depends because of, uh, this is because of the school system we have. And I think on the long term, the debate, the, the, the election debate will go on how can we improve the conditions, for example, whole day schools, um, child care, but also the possibility not only to work part-time for women, but also to go back to full-time jobs. This will certainly be, be important in the debate we will have. Minister, can I ask you whether or not you think we will ultimately have to get to a point where we see quotas for women executives? Well, I am convinced that uh, quotas are necessary. Um, ten years ago, I wasn't a friend of quotas because I thought a young generation of women, highly educated, will make uh, the, their way up to the top of uh, big business, of listed companies. But I saw that the improvement was very slow. So last year we had an improvement of 1% in the executive boards. We had 4% women at the moment being in the supervisory boards at 14%, the 200 biggest companies. This is too slow. So my experience is by now we will need quotas, but it will be something we won't need on the long term. You need quotas just to have a critical mass of women in the supervisory boards. Um, I think it's important uh, specifically what kind of, um, yeah, what, what type of companies we have in the international context. And if you look at German companies, um, a good friend from me from the United States told me, well, you know, corporate Germany is an old white man. And I think this should <laughs> change. We sh should be way more diverse, way more international, and of course have men and women. I do not think, Minister think that women are better than men, but I think the, the diverse look at the risks Minister? and the opportunities is important to be successful. Thank you.
Minister, thank you so much. That was thank Ursula so von der Leyen from Berlin.